yellow. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. We haven't seen each other in a long, a long time. time. A long time. I just noticed it's the first time they see me without a beard as well. He doesn't have a beard anymore. Yes. I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> Today we were having a lovely dinner um, out here and just talking and I thought and we, the conversation got so deep and so <laughs> interesting that I thought I have to share this with you guys. So we were talking about um, I remember this story our conversation made me remember a story that I had read about adoption. So if you <laughs> if you we thought were not able to run away from it. What? From the topic. Well, yeah, no. We <laughs> I said I wouldn't be talking about adoption anymore so much, but um <laughs> And it reminded me of this story that I read. I don't remember where and where and who wrote it, unfortunately. But it was so nice because it was someone, uh, <clears throat> uh, two parents, telling how a story about their three children. So they had two biological children and they had just adopted a third child. Um, I think it was like he was home for, he had been home for a, a year or something. And then the whole family, one day they went to the zoo for a trip to the zoo. And then um, at, after the, the seeing the animals and stuff, they um, <clears throat> bought the kids some ice cream, popsicles or whatever. And they told the kids, you know, wait here, e finish your ice cream. Well, we go get the car and then we'll just drive by and, get and pick, you pick you up. And then um, as they drove by, the father, he wanted to, to make a joke. And he just continued driving, uh, passing by the kids without stopping. And can you guess the, the reaction. reaction of the kids, of each kid? Um, the two biological ch children, they just started laughing and running after the car and they, they automatically assumed that it was a joke. And the um, kid that had been adopted a year before or sometime before, he started frantically crying and he got desperate because he thought that he would be left, got le get left in the zoo. And I don't want to talk about specifically about adoption today, but about something that um, made me rem made me think of this story, because I was telling Daniel the uh, we have been going through a period of just waiting, waiting for answers, waiting for I feel like I've been waiting for so many answers for so mm -hmm. long now, and sometimes I find myself. A lot of times I find myself just not completely trusting that God is in control or that He He cares. <clears throat> and I said to Daniel, I feel like the more relationship I have with God, the more I can trust Him and I can develop this trust and this faith that makes me just rest and and believe that God is going to provide he is going to give an answer at the right time and I felt I feel sometimes a lot of times I feel like that child that saw the car running or driving by and and thinking I'm gonna be left here and I want so badly to be the one of the children who just laughs at it and <laughs> thinks you know obviously my dad is not gonna be leave me alone He's not going to leave me here, you know, he's not going to leave me in distress. He, he loves me, you know, someone that accepts God's love as something unquestionable, something that, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a joke. I, I would like to laugh at the thought of, you know, oh, maybe God doesn't care or whatever. Because it's true, he has provided 
in every single situation in our lives he has provided he always answers and he always provides and at the end his plan is always always better than mine but and, and this is what we were talking about like for instance on our daily lives on the, the experiences that we've been through uh, not only us but I say in general I think we end up looking at let's say we only have our perspective which is mm -hmm. so small so 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 small compared to what God looks at and what God sees for the future for everything and and I think this is one of the reasons why we usually go into despair and we usually get crazy and anxious and even, I don't know, doubtful, depressed, depressed, is doubtful, depressed, yeah. because we, we only see the today, the now, and we see the problems coming into our doorstep and we have to find a way to sort, solve them, we have to find a way to sort that out and to, to change the situation we are living, but this this concept that Carol was mentioning, like the relationship of you know that he is your father. You just know. Yeah, you don't you just question exactly it. Don't is, is even question it. It's something so, so, so deep. It that only re comes regardless with a of real what relationship. happens. We, were, we started mentioning like a kid that is waiting uh, after school for the, the, the father to come or the parents to come and pick pick him up. If there's any delay, if, if there's anything happening, there's nothing that is going to get into the, that child's mind saying my dad left me here or my mother left me here. Uh, no, he's going to come. I'm not moving because he's going to come yeah. or she's going to come. But that only comes with a healthy relationship yeah. and that's the whole point of it. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, y you know, with God I think it's exactly the same. You have to have a healthy, rela personal mm -hmm. relationship Deep. with God mm -hmm. in order to develop that trust and to develop that faith. And, and it's a process, obviously, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that's, mm -hmm. I think that's, yeah, what I wanted to sh to share. Do you have anything else to say? Um, I don't know. I think about this topic is. I mean, it is what what came to us. You started mentioning, and it makes sense for everything that we're living in, on all the yeah. struggles we are having, with the no's or the lack of answers. We have to find that peace of deep mind. Peace, peace of mind, yeah. exactly. Peace that will just say, okay, mm -hmm. whatever happens, I know that God is in control, and he we we is. know that. He is. Yeah, he I mean, there, there's so many is. experiences on our life that we saw God doing amazing stuff, like even like to the tiniest, tiniest detail. Yeah. Um, he just does that. Sometimes, as Carol mentioned, it's not what we would like or what I would like or what she would like. But sometimes it's better, sometimes it's different and we just have to understand that it's a different perspective. But, yeah, yeah. I want to have that peace as well because sometimes it's, it's very hard. Relationship. Comes with the relationship. Hmm. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you have a nice whatever I don't know when this video is coming up a nice week or a nice end of the week or a nice day I don't know you have a nice one and you have a nice one <laughs> I'm gonna try to do the same yeah. and thanks for watching we'll and see, see you next time yeah see ya bye Cheers.